Hello, hello, and welcome to our return to the Kitakami region. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. In Pokemon Violet, or at least the Pokemon Violet's DLC, the Teal Mask. Uh, so last time around, we've um, went and uh, we made our way over from the Paldea region over here to the Kitakami region. Got ourselves familiarized with at least the entrance area and our general location where we're currently residing at uh we got to meet the two students over at was it blueberry academy uh, and fought them twice <laughs> uh but since then we got to explore a little bit more of the island learn a little bit more of uh the backstory of the was it the three heroes and the and the devious ogre of some kind um uh, we got ourselves some brand new Kitakami drip. Uh, we've failed to get ourselves a mask for the Festival of Masks, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves one as we make our way over to the festival. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's do it. Away we go. Oh, and along with this new drip, before I forget... Sorry, before I forget, we along with the... The new threads, we actually do have ourselves a brand new team with the sole exception of our uh, starter. So, you know, just in case things don't work out, our starter is there to pick up the slack in a sense. Uh, but on this team, we have Riolu at the very uh, leading things currently. Uh, unfortunately, Riolu has been, uh, well, not holding, holding up all too well in these battles, but you know, he's trying, he's trying, he's there, you know. Um, beyond that, we have our uh, resident dragon type Noibat, who's rocking the amulet coin. And actually, I'll go ahead and have Noibat lead instead because she has the amulet coin and I need the monies. Um, or I want the monies. Um, but yeah, Noibat right now is currently acting as our resident flying type more than anything, but eventually, eventually, she'll gain some dragon type power, I'm assuming, at some point. Um, anyway, uh, hanging out in the middle is our resident water type Poliwhirl, one of the OGs. Uh, speaking of OGs, we got ourselves a Weeping Bell hanging out at number four. Uh, we got ourselves Grotto from the egg from uh, from Jacques earlier. And yeah, closing things out is our trusty starter Craft. So yeah, that's the team we are rocking today. In the mean, let's go ahead and now head on out and check out the festival maybe a couple more battles along the way just so that way we're um uh was it we're able to uh level up a little bit more yeah uh oh there's a raw hello is a terrible idea for me to have Noibat or Riolu up the front against the routes of all things Oh, but we already got a routes from. Routes could be a fun one to have on the team. I don't know. I don't know, you know? Heavily debating. I'll leave you be. I hope I'm heading the right direction. I don't even down. <laughs> I just kind of started heading out. I don't. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Anyway, what is this? Oh, Vulpix! Of some terror variety, and I sent a Weeping Bell at it. I don't know if that's gonna bite me in the butt later. Let's find out what terror typing you are. It's a fairy type Vulpix! Our poison typing actually comes in handy here, wow. I do. Up, uh, Vulpix going for the Hypnosis, but Weeping Bell dodge! Anytime we're striking back with the Poison Jab! There we go, there we go. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and go straight for the Ultra Ball. Ayo! And we caught a Vulpix! <laughs> nice. Oh, and Grotto got a level up. Hey. 
As his bride grows larger, its six warm tails become more beautiful with a more luxurious coat of fur. Wow. I uh, will not give you a nickname, and... Actually, I want to add you to the party. I'm going to add you to the party. What do I want to swap out for in this party? Uh... Logically, I should swap out, swap out Weeping Bell, considering we already have a grass type in Grotto. At the same time, Weeping Bell did get us... It feels like I used Weeping Bell to get its replacement. And I don't know how I feel about that. Well... <laughs> Sorry, Weeping Bell. I don't mean to do it to you, but... Yeah, no. I'll go ahead and use a Hyper Potion on said Revolve Picks. And do I actually have a, uh... I think this one revolves using a, um... Firestone? Yes! I'll just go for it. I'll just go for it. Volpix is evolving! That was fast! <laughs> what does Volpix even know? I don't even know. It knows with Gnosis, I know that for sure. But beyond that, I, I've got nothing. Anyway. I like how my phone is just floating there. I don't know what that's about. Anyway. We got nine tails, and it's a register. Uh, Pokedex entry, so that's kind of nice. It has nine long tails and fur that gleams gold. It is said to live for 1,000 years. The amount of stories it can tell in 1,000 years. It's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, what moves do you know? Fire with a fairy type in. It's got baby doll eyes, hypnosis, quick attack, and incinerate. Alright. Oh, that's a 50 accuracy right there, but that's quite a, quite a decent amount of power on that though. Uh, let's do... Well, we can do a classic with Fire Blast. Some Fire Spins are going. Got Spite! <laughs> you know, it's just guard again on the move last used by the target by cutting 4 PP from it. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's do Flamethrower. Uh, I'll forget. I think I'll forget baby doll eyes for it. I'll keep hypnosis for now, and quick attack is probably a decent cover for now. But I'll keep flamethrower and incinerate. What is incinerate? Oh, it just burns up the... Uh, it's just a little bit better flamethrower. Oh no, it's actually a worse flamethrower. But it does burn up berries, which could come in handy in certain situations. Alright, cool. We got our pure fire type. We can use to burn... Fomentus! I'm just bullying the foment foment the uh, fomantis out here. There's a rock rough over here. Need some rock types, maybe. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> if you don't mean long enough, you you. Hey, that shouldn't be too much of a surprise, honestly. <laughs> Alright, we battled you earlier. I think we battled everyone on this path already. It's come to my attention that we could have flown here if we really wanted to, but... You know. Then we wouldn't have gotten Ninetales. 
<laughs> you know, that's something. Hello! Festival of Mass begins tonight at Kirakami Hall. Take your time and enjoy yourself. Sounds legit. Let's go check it out. Everyone's got these sick masks. Oh, at least those two had some sick masks. Someone's got a Pikachu mask. That's cool. Hey, hey, Dusko! Chai Micho! Chai Meko? Anyway. Just vibing, enjoying the enjoying the music out there. That's cool. Yeah, this is the festival of masks. Uh, today's just the first day. It'll keep going for a while. I bet you don't have any festivals this big over in Padero or whatever, right? That's true. <laughs> I love how enthusiastic. You know, arguably we don't. I don't think we've ever had a festival out there. It's true. I can't argue with that. I knew, <laughs> knew it. See, Kirikami's just as good as any of your big shiny cities. It's okay, Shima. Just ignore her. She's, sp she's spitting facts out here, though. Okay. I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Uh, give me your roto stick for a second. Quick festival selfie. Going to scooch in closer. Oh, you're stepping on my toe. <laughs> my toe, sis. Anyway. <laughs> oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Okay, you already Say Chansey. Now that's why I call it a nice festival vibe. The festival of mass is held so we can all honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon, the ones protected this land from the eagle, uh, eagle, <laughs> from the eagles, anyway, from the evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? I might have heard. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Nothing, I just think, I was just thinking it was funny that, uh, like, you don't know anything about the ogre. What? I know the legends of Kirikami better than anybody. Pretty gutsy of you to laugh at your big sis. Sorry. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Kiki's still a little baby, so of course he thinks some kind of terrible monster's cool. He likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh look, they've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stalls. Changing the topic I see. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I've got beautiful treats. You do look pretty good, not gonna lie. Excuse me, two candy apples, please. You got it. Two candy apples coming right up. Uh, here, Shima, you can have one. Thanks. You sure? You sure about that? <laughs> here. Grandma gave me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know? Probably not too healthy to eat those every day. <laughs> Grandma always just makes us uh, mochi as a snack. I mean, that sounds pretty good, actually. There's even a Pokemon in Kitakami that looks like a little candy apple. Did you know that? So I've heard. Yeah, hey, let's check that out over there. Man's all over the place. I actually don't know where he went. What the heck? That's not him over there, is it? No, it's some random kid staring off into 
deep space. Actually, what is your story? What are you doing? That Pikachu's kind of haunting, not gonna lie. Shh, can you keep a secret? There's this uh, selfie pose for when you want to be, like, secretive. Everyone's doing it lately. You learn the shh emote from a local kid. Wow. While using the camera app, you can use selfie emotes if you switch to the front-facing camera. Oh, thanks. I can shh now. <laughs> That's good to know. Still, I seem to have lost him. Uh, bummers. <laughs> Do you have any form of dialogue? Nothing says festival like a bunch of super salty fried food. You know, I can't argue with that. Now right, let's head up even farther up to see if he's hanging out up here. Oh, there you are. What is this? Step right up for a game of Ogre Alston. So, y'all want to have a go? Sure. <laughs> hey, you're one of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? Can't very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Are you gonna try it, Shima? I'll, uh, I'll cheer you on from a safe dist- what, what do you mean a safe distance? What is this game? <laughs> You're up for a run of ogre ousting, huh? I did one just now. It was pretty easy for me. Uh, it was pretty easy for me, that is. Wait, how did you how did you do that? I swear I just talked to you from all the way from the from one of the earlier stalls. What in the world? My score was 6390. Think you can do better? Go get her, Shiva. I have no context for how high that score actually is. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we do. Oh, we get to... Oh, this one! Okay, Ogre Austin is a traditional game that has been played in uh, Musui Town since long ago. Gather up lots of berries and bring them to the berry tables to try and earn yourself a high score. Okay, the playing field is dotted with ogre balloons in four different colors. Pop these balloons to collect the berries inside them. Okay, there are also four different colors of berry tables at your home base. Place one of your uh, place one of your berries on a matching table by getting close to it and pressing the A button. Once you've managed to place the target number of berries on these tables, you win. From time to time, greedy Pokemon may gather around the berry tables, hoping to gobble up all your hard-earned berries. If you let them. Uh, they'll eat until all your berries are gone. Use the R button to scare them off. Interesting. Okay, so I need two red, four green, two, and two of the other ones. Oh, uh, Val Lumina. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Yes, we're all about those berries today. Uh... Alright, where do I need to go from that? I need to head back to camp, I think, yeah. Yeah. We're doing a little bit of berry collecting. Hey, we did it! <laughs> oh, there's a stage two? Oh, gosh. Okay. Up, up, up. Uh, oh, we need one, two, three, four. And then. Ow. Okay, oh, and one more green. 
Perfect. We have red for days. Oh my goodness. Hey, oh. I think there's like three or four stages. Well, we're on stage three. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, gotta get that drift. <laughs> All right, what's the last one I need? Oh, I need greens. All of the greens. Pop, pop, pop. Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh, this is the maximum number of berries I can hold. Okay. Oh, we're down one green. Um, okay. Hold that for me. Hey, where's that school bit? Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't need to worry about it. All right, we collected as many berries as we could. The Pokemon are going hungry today. <laughs> or do we get to feed them the, the berries after? I don't know. Anyway, we got Mochi. Mochi for days. Okay, cool. That was some fine dashing about. I see now, you scored 7,382 points, so here's your prize. Ooh, we got an EXP charm. I could come in handy for our grotto. Having one of these charms increases the experience points your Pokemon get. It's a strange, stretchy charm that encourages growth. I, Karmai, Mosui's reigning champion of Ogre Balloon Bustin, have been defeated. <gasps> The audacity. <laughs> I hate losing. I want to have another goal to get even, but I'm all out of pocket money. I think I won this on my first try for free. No, Kiki, you go and beat Shima for me. No. Just straight up, just... Mm. Nah. <laughs> Not about that. What's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? That makes me so annoyed. I think I'm going to black out. Uh, sorry she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I'll deal with her. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Alright. Eh. Look at them just vibing out here. Up, up, there they go. Well. Bit. Eh. So I'm just watching a uh... Look at him go. Anyway. <laughs> uh about me. What's your favorite Pokemon? That's a loaded question. Uh mm. There's a lot of good ones, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's hard to I mean uh, there's like over a thousand. It's hard to really narrowed down but if i had to choose i feel like the og snorlax snorlax never lets me down snorlax is my spirit animal <laughs> i'll go with snorlax can never go wrong with a good snorlax what about you val what would you consider to be your favorite pokemon you okay if i call you val you prefer lumina val lumina value i don't know <laughs> Hello! You seem friendly. Pawn? No, Shima. 
A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Are you enjoying the festival? That's a cool mask. I don't have a mask. Mine is Lucario. Unsure about Val. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Lucario's a really cool Pokemon. I'll give you. I'll give you that. Lucario's top tier. It's always good stuff. You can never go wrong with Lucario. Currently trying to raise up uh, Riolu on my team to become a Lucario. That might be a while. Anyway. Let them know. It's a cool mask. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Ponyo! Ishima, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for Austin Ogres, I'm telling you. Yep. Ah! Run away! <laughs> hey, who was that? Ow. The mask is dope, though. Chase after the mysterious kid. Get him! <laughs> two shiny Lucarios. Ooh. Wait, Chima. You shouldn't run off on your own. I've gotten full eyeing. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. Oop. Oh, shoot, you dropped your mask. You should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. Oh, there it goes. Dude, you forgot your mask. It's dope. Can't forget this. It looks rare. It looks expensive. I don't know. Anyway, you found the teal mask. Hey, DLC name drop. Anyway, you put the teal mask in your bag's key items. Fuck it. A teal mask pattern after the face of an ogre. Ogre pawn dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the festival of masks. I feel like it was it was fairly it was fairly obvious it was Ogre Pond, but if 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 the if if it wasn't clear enough, they've they've labeled it out for you right here. That, that's straight up Ogre Pond. Anyway. <laughs> Who's that? Where'd that kid come from? I don't think it's a kid. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean the kid we just saw? They ran off toward the mountain. Could it have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? No. Impossible. <laughs> you never know. Anything's possible out here. Anyway, what's my favorite legendary Pokemon? Ooh, another, another, another tough question. Uh. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with Rayquaza. I think Rayquaza is a solid, is a solid legendary Pokemon, at least in my opinion. You know, it's 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 got that Dragon type in. Can never go wrong. It has the it has a lot on its plate dealing with you know uh, Groudon and Kyogre always duking it out. So it's gotta come in with the steel chair, break up the fights as much as can, while simultaneously making sure that Deoxys doesn't do what Deoxys does and, you know, doesn't cause any form of mayhem on the on the planet. Um, yeah. Also, the shiny Rayquaza, absolutely solid. It's mega evolution form, absolutely solid. And it gets its mega evolution form by eating rocks, which is also absolutely solid. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go with Rayquaza. Rayquaza's, Rayquaza's my solid. My Rayquaza will be my pick for favorite legendary. Right. Oh, uh, are you saying that story was true? It was real. Never underestimate the power of of legends and myths being real in the Pokemon universe. Anyway, I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Chima, sis, what are you guys doing over here? 
Oh, we just we just bumped into the ogre. You know, you didn't miss much. It's it it is what it is. You know, just just casually run into the ogre during the festival of masks. It's, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, also, uh, Uni Kitty twenty nine twelve. Thank you very much for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Hey, wait! Stop! 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 Shh! 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 shh. What? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Huh. Why do I get the feeling I'm being lied to? <laughs> also, those Vaporeon emotes are adorable, on a side note. Also, an excellent uh, reminder to stay hydrated. <laughs> Very important stuff. Anyway. Oh, I get it. I bet you're making fun of me behind my back. Yes, exactly. No kidding. <laughs> oh. Squirtle one, too. That's cute. Also, friendly reminder to stay hydrated. In fact, I'll stay hydrated myself. I need water. <laughs> Oh, he heads back to the festival. This is Squirtle one as well. Adorable. Also, hey! Hey! Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Whew, at least you didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that. Uh, blabbing for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? Not really. <laughs> See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. Disturbing amount of release. Anyway, so if he found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? A little. Besides, I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour, either. That That's fair, that's fair. So if I'm hypo, I'm just happy a bit. <laughs> That's cool. Always, always cool with being hypo. All about that hype. Miji not hypo. If you're feeling hypo, you're feeling hypo. No worries. It's all good, it's all good. As long as you're being friendly about it, it's all, it's all, it's all that matters, right? <laughs> anyway, I uh, want well, in case you already lied about it, and that's that. Oh, side note, you lied about it. <laughs> I tried to tell him about it, but you know, whatevs. <laughs> Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? I made me hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. Oh, but the mask is dope. I'd wear it if I could. <laughs> Talk to Kieran before heading back. Alright, where'd he go off to? Oh. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to ride Mariah on in the middle of a festival. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Look at all these people! I really dislike her from the start. Yeah, she can be a little much at times. Eh, I don't really mind it as much, I don't know. <laughs> but I can see, I can see where you're coming from with that. A little aggressive from the get-go. Anyway, had enough of the festival? Uh, wait, not yet. Festival isn't going any uh, going to end anytime. So don't overdo it, okay? Party all night, every night. <laughs> we'll never sleep again. Anyway, fried what? Fried noodles. That's what. Key to call me fried noodles. KFN to be exact. You want some, right? Ooh. 
humongo power fighting. Interesting. Uh, we've given fruits and berries beautiful candy coatings. Dip it all in sugar. Anyway. Uh, so that has ground encounter power. Experience points for steel. Dark. Ghost. Steel. Teensy power. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, just exploring all different. As much syrup as you want. Oh, shaved ice. Oh, that sounds pretty good right now. Anyway, come and get your shaved ice with as much syrup as you'd like. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Anyway. Who wants candy apples? Also got ice cream. More shaved ice. A lot of dessert kind stuff. Not complaining, but you know. <laughs> Enough of the festival? Yeah, I think we're good. Well, then I guess we should head uh, we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. The next day. <laughs> head outside when you're ready. I don't know, is there anything for me to do? I think so. Candy Fruits is the festival of mess has such an interesting flavor. Is it like too sugar coated? Is there something in the fruits? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, today I'm definitely going to get started on or uh, orient orienteering with Carmine. My heart's pounding. Festival time. You've been to the festival yet? Uh, maybe once. It'll be running for a while, so go have some fun. Okay. I'm starting to like bug Pokemon. Yanma's so cool. And thus a new bug catcher trainer was born. Anyway. <laughs> you already found two signs, huh? You've only found one. But there's no harm in going at our own pace. Can't argue with that. I mean, it took me like three weeks to finally get to... The, to continuing this, uh, this DLC, so, you know. Can't really argue with that. Oh, hello! There you are, Shima! Just because we didn't agree to meet, uh, doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told any about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? What thing? <laughs> Come on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We bumped into the yogurt. The yogurt. Yogurt. Yes, yogurt. So don't play dumb, got it? I don't remember bumping into yogurt yesterday. Anyway, <laughs> you still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. What thing? You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Let's show Grandpa the, uh, you know, the thing we found. All right. To Carmine's house. Away. And we're here. Hello. Are you the person I should give this mask to? Good morning to you, Shima. Good morning to you, person. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Shima. Good morning. He's awake, huh? Wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find someplace else to be. Shima's got business with me. Seriously, he's spending all his time with you. That's so unfair. He could be such a jerk. What'd you just call me? <sighs> oh man, what's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carvine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. I... 
that's that's probably not a uh, that's probably not a uh, a good measuring point for kindness. <laughs> just just gonna throw that one out there. Anyway, uh, we've got more important things to discuss, right, Shima? Come on, you gotta show ground for that thing you have. Here, have my Rotom phone. I'm kidding. Alright, so we found this. Could this be? This mask. It belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? You bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but I dropped that mask and... Yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would be gracing our festival with its presence. Hmm. Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. Not all is as it seems, apparently. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around! <laughs> the other way around? What do you mean? Backstory time. You should hear this too, Shima. He also met the poor ogre, or Ogre Pawn, as it's rightly named. Uh, let me tell you the true story has passed down through our family for generations. Ooh, back Kitakami backstory. Oh, oh. Oh, we, oh, we gotta. Okay. Oh. I thought he was just gonna go right into it, but we gotta talk to him about it. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a long story to tell, is that alright? Can you give like the TLDR version? Can we like... No. <laughs> if you gotta tell it from start to finish, then... Not like I have anything else going on. Oh, this is gonna be a long story. He has to sit down for this. Should we not be sitting too? Anyway. <laughs> this story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. And his father before that, and his father before that. Anyway, it's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. Why not? Anyway, you must never speak of it to others. Why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, right. we're, we're accepting of that very quickly. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. Oh man. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers. The village mask maker. You're looking at his hands like... <laughs> anyway. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works, adorned with gems the man uh, brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. <coughs> wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. We got a full-on crowd going. Is that a wheezing mask on one of the anyway? <laughs> I think there's I see a I think I see a Lapras. Is that Squirtle? Charmander? I don't know. That's a polywag, I think. That's Starly Kiladin? Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, moving on. Uh, in fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. 
a group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. He was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. Oh man. Oh, hello. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. Uh, the villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen, trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three, and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone and with great sadness. Oh man. That's terrible. Oh, it's even raining now, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Ogrepon didn't deserve that, and the Loyal Three, they're the worst. The story everyone's been told is the complete office of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Didn't he just have us agree not to anyway? <laughs> Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa. The villagers believe their own version of, of history. They revere the Loyal Three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They probably get angry? Probably. <laughs> exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the Mask Maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Heresy! Anyway. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the Mask Maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. See? Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? You shouldn't know. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me, as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Oh, the rain is gone all of a sudden. What the heck? Anyway, <laughs> until then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. I got a lot of secrets to keep this this time around, huh? Okay, Grandpa. I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me, I noticed the jewel on his forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Oh, huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs? It's Grandpa's offering. Let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Don't you worry, I'll be sure to take good care of this. Alright, I'm trusting you, old man. <laughs> oh, he's been there the whole time? <laughs> This is going to be an awkward encounter waiting to happen. I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its mask fix will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. 
I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I gotta go find Kiran. Oh, kind of shows the location already. Uh. Oh, he's at the souvenir stand. What's up, man? Oh, uh, hey, Shima. So, I, I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just uh, talking about? This and that, I guess. You know, nothing much. We're just learning that, you know, the entire, like, legend passed down in this, in this town is a lie, and it turns out it's the exact opposite, and, you know, the whole business, you know, the usual. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't, you wouldn't know anything about what we've just been talking about. It's not like you were eavesdropping or anything, you know, that'd be, that'd be insane. You know how awkward that would be if you were listening in on that and I'm trying to play it off like we weren't really talking about much instead of this groundbreaking stuff, you know? <laughs> that would be incredibly awkward. That'd be awkward for everyone. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I see. So about those signs, the last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We we'll need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. Alright, off on a journey we go. Why, why'd you lie to me? He does not <laughs> Yeah, you know, just something about keeping secrets or something like that. Anyway. Alright, back up the mountain we go. Where was the thing? Oh. Oh, it's really across the mountain. Okay. Actually, I think we should be able to just... Oh, oh, TM. Well, first fresh water. We got a bottle of water next to the river. That's interesting. Anyway. I was about to say that corefish is just chilling over there, but it seems to be surrounded by birds. I don't know if it's chilling anymore. I think it's running for its life at this point. Anywho. We got Ekans, we got Swaddle, we got a Nugget, we got Monies. Experience candies. All kinds of goodies out here. What is this? Hit. We're the Kitakami Ogre Clan. Okay, up. Uh. And you're a Geo Dude. Okay. Uh, let's bring in Riolu for this. Riolu is actually perfect for this. Why are there so many Geo Dudes? Oh my goodness. Oh, this should work out. <laughs> what Pokemon did I just send at you? Dang it. <laughs> can I run? Uh, I can run. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, so now I just gotta hope that none of the none of the Geo dudes are faster than Riolu, and I should be able to one shot my way to victory. Here's open. Oh no! Well, that was short. <laughs> that was that was short lived. That was a short lived strategy right there. Alright, I'm gonna bring in Poliwhirl then. Go forth, Poliwhirl. Oh, rockin' Earth Power. Nice. Gotta level up for Grotto. Also nice. Riolu has fainted. Not as nice. There we go. Can I send you to auto battle? Will you do a little better? Okay, still hanging in there. That's good. Still good. Okay, not as not as not as good this time around, but it's okay. Okay, now you're getting a little bit into yellow. I'm getting a little concerned. Oh, well, we managed to clear out a good amount of Geo dudes, so that's that's not bad. Okay, now that we're in the red, let's hope for a good reversal. Hey, that's a floating Pokeball over there. Okay, not quite enough high in friendship to get ourselves a Lucario just yet. That's fine. Okay, let's go say hi. You seem like a rather tough trainer, so I don't know if I'm leveled enough for this. I'm Raikiri of the Kirakami Ogre Clan. The lightning I wield will shake you to your core. Lightning, huh? That's a little concerning. Alright, Raikiri, what do you got? It's a Raichu! Oh, that's a tough Raichu. Okay. Raichu setting up a light screen. Okay. We're going for the hypnosis, but they have dodged my hypnosis. Alright, oh, Raichu coming in with the thunderbolt. Do we survive? We do. Oh, well, that's not good. Alright, going for a real quick, quick attack! Ninetales, I'm sorry! Alright, well this is a terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're bringing in Poliwhirl! Oh, Richard right, coming in with the Thunder Wave! Going for the paralysis to kick things off. Hopefully we're still able to... Yes, we can! Oh, well, it doesn't really do all too much anyway. Ooh, right, you're coming in with the Thunderbolt. Yep, that pretty much... That, that ended that real quick. Well, before we lose anything else, let's just go ahead and uh, swap right on in for our our main starter, shall we? Nope. Right, you setting up a light screen. We're coming in with a shadow ball. Okay, lower their special defense by a little bit. That's good, that's good. Right, you're coming in with a thunder wave. And a little bit of that paralysis kicking in. It's okay, we're still able to fire that shadow ball. 
Ooh, and finish off the rest of the Raichu right on out of here. I don't know why I paused there for a second. <laughs> anyway, Grotto wants to learn Leech Seed. Sure. Oh, uh, forget Curse. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Alright, next up is Probo Pass. I'm gonna try switch out. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work out, but I'm gonna try riding Riolu at the very beginning. See if we'll be able to fire off our move before Probo Pass gets their move out. We're going straight for the final gambit. Eh. Oh, maybe I should have went for the. Maybe I should have went for the reversal instead. Eh, okay. Well. Yeah, I know. The big question is, can we handle? Whatever they're gonna throw our way. It's a power gem. This is probably gonna hurt. Yeah, if that hurt quite a bit. We can strike back with an overheat. Yeah. Uh can I run? Yeah, I'm gonna Oh my goodness. That's a lot of monies. But we got an evolution out of it. So I'll take it. We'll come back. We'll come back stronger than ever. First and foremost, with a Noivern. In the dark, even Hydreigon are terrified of this Pokemon. But in the light, Noivern is one of is the one that avoids battle. Interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for the book, Noivern. And you want to learn Dragon Pulse? Absolutely. Uh, I think we'll forget air slash and boop. Oh, Grotto's evolving too. Hey, means we've. Got a Tor Terra. <laughs> and Torterra wants to learn Earthquake. Oh, absolutely. Uh... I'll forget Tackle. <laughs> I don't know if I really still need Tackle at this point. You and running to the Pokemon Sarah to regroup and reconsider your battle strategy. I think that's the first time I've ever actually No no, I've probably seen that at least once or twice in this game. But anyway, I healed up your Pokemon, all happy and healthy again. I'm glad they're all okay. Be real careful out there, would you? Alright. Fair enough. Lesson learned. We need to be We're not quite ready to take on the the heavy hitters just yet. We gotta, um, we gotta raise up our Pokemon a little bit more. Luckily, um, we now have a Torterra on our side, so we got the extra ground coverage. I don't know, wait. Okay, now we go. Attack! Alright, well we don't need to, we don't, we don't need to go into that cave again. Not right now, anyway. That's kind of a bummer, we're down 9,000, we're practically down $10,000.
Hmm? Got Hatterims and Salazzles out here. Be a little careful with how I handle the Pokemon around here. Cause there's a Noi bat right over there. And I promise you we're not gonna handle that all too well. I'll be collecting Bonsley's tears. Uh, I feel a little bad. We got a rare bone though, so I don't feel as bad. We gotta level up for Torterra, and we got ourselves a Drain Punch. Climbing on up. Oh, wow, this mountain's really tall. What the heck? Yep. Wait, how tall is this mountain? it up okay I think we should probably stop climbing we also got a new oh it's a Gerald dude with some kind of additional terror typing don't know what kind though let's find out All right, what kind of typing are you it's a fighting type this I'll bring in Noivern it's a little bit concerning because I mean it is still Geo dude so it probably still has rock type moves but our flying type moves should be much more effective now all right sweep him out with a hurricane oh well Ow. Okay, now sweep him out with a hurricane. Oh, oh, you're gonna miss again. Okay, okay. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> uh, not a particularly ideal start for Noivern out here. I'm gonna go ahead and run now. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I, I, um,. It didn't um, handle that one as well as I probably should have. The Growlithe. Timber, Growlithe, Pichu. Noibat for To the dreaded den danger, do not enter. Oh, well, we're heading to, I think, we're heading to the Infernal Pass, no? Well, we're here. Oh, I've never caught a Hondar before. Well, no time like the present. <laughs> Oh, 
Hunter are starting things out with an Inferno, but we were able to avoid it. Strike it back with a Force Palm. Oh, shoot. We hit harder than I thought we did. Okay. That's fine. Uh... Hello. It's a Chingling. Uh, let's go for the Incinerate. Okay, that's good, that's good. Up, oh, Chingling going for the Yawn. I'm feeling a little drowsy out here. That's fine, we'll go for another Incinerate. We'll get them one in the red. Chingling's trying to go for the last resort, but it failed. Ninetales is now asleep. Not particularly ideal, but it is what it is. And... Oh, let's try for the Pokeball. Nope. Chingling going for a yawn. But it failed. Okay, let's try for a Great Ball. Hey oh and we got a chingling I will not give you a nickname and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Chingling. And thank you very much for the book. I guess there's a Chimecho later. Chimeco. Uh, we do have ourselves a spoink. So we're good there. There's a Honda just sitting here. That, that's cool. Alright, shall we try for the Force Palm again? See if that auto kills or if we're actually able to, um... Uh, let's try the reversal actually, since we're pretty high on health. Yeah, because reversal might be good. Woo! Okay. And now, just in case, we're gonna go ahead and go for the Ultra Ball. There we go. And we got a hand hour. And we got a level up. It uses different kinds of cries for communicating with others of its kind and for pursuing its prey. With others of its kind and for pursuing its prey. Oh my goodness. Can't talk today. Anyway, I'm not gonna nickname you, I'm just send you the box. Welcome to the box hand hour. And thank you very much for the book. Yep. We got another hand hour. Alright, this time I'm going for the force palm. Yeah, because this time all we gotta do is... I think we can afford to just battle on that in that particular case. Don't need to worry about catching another one. Anyway. Uh, that is... Coughing. Uh... That's actually a pretty high level coughing. I don't know why, its texture kind of throws me off a little bit. Uh, let's try for the Earth Power. Oh, it le uh, yeah, <laughs> it's levitating. That makes sense. Oh shoot! Oh, okay. Wow, look at that Poliwhirl coming in handy. Coughing, still trying to explode. Trying our best not to let that happen. All right, going for the Ultra. Hey, one and done. I'll take that. All right, the poisonous gases it contains are a little bit lighter than air. That's why it's always slightly airborne. Interesting. I shall not nickname you and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Coffeeing. And thank you very much for the book. Yeah. 
Oh, it's another coughing. Oh, this one I can hit you with earth power. Coughing once again for you. Oh, this one actually worked. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised we survived from that. But we did. We made it through. Uh, do I have a... Uh... I do have an awakening. Get a little bit of extra battle experience in with Riolu here. There you go. Please don't battle the Spoink. I can't guarantee your safety if it's a Spoink. <laughs> Oh, Riolu found me a heat wave. Wow. Cool. Oh, tingling. No, 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 no! Oh, no! Really, do. It's like the rain was a sign. No, you don't need to take on the spike. Take on the Geo dude, though. I'm fine with that. Slug my lava. Right, it is certainly raining up a storm out here. Oh my goodness. Yep, app. Alright, real quick battle with the Geo dude. That's fine. Go for a force palm. Oh, Jodo going for the double edge. Oh no, Riolu! Riolu! At this rate, I'm gonna run out of revives. <laughs> Oh, hello. Han Dower. Oh, I'm sorry. Why did I say it like that? Hound Doom. Uh, let's try to go for it. Oh, Hound Doom starting first with the foul play. Ow. We're fine though. Strike you back with the force palm. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, we even got the paralysis. Bonus. Let's go straight for the Ultra Ball. Hope we can one and done. Oh, no. Ooh, Hondun's paralyzed though, so we're good there. We're going for another Ultra Ball. Still not quite. Ooh, Hondun going for the... I keep saying I want to say Houndour. Houndoom going for the flamethrower. Oh man. Alright, let's bring in Ninetales. 
Hopefully we don't do too much damage against the Hound Doom. Let's go for a cook attack. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now let's go for the Ultra Ball. Hope for the best. Oh, still nothing, okay. Alright, let's go for another quick attack. Okay. Hound Doom in the red, paralyzed. If there's ever a time for it to catch, it's now. Hey, oh. And we got the Hound Doom. And we got a level up for Torterra. Which is good because Torterra is heavily under leveled. Anyway, <laughs> I shall not give you a nickname. Also, um, forgot to read its Pokedex entry. Upon hearing its eerie howls, the other po other Pokemon get the shivers and head straight back to their nests. Interesting. I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Houndoom. And thank you very much for the book. I get all this slugma lava, but I have yet to see a slugma. <laughs> I'm getting some real quick heals in there. Okay. Oh, speaking of Slugma. It's a level 69 Slugma. Couldn't make this up even if I tried. You know, what kind of typing are you? You are a... I think you're a rock type. A rock type Slugma. Alright, that's cool. Alright, going first with the Force Palm. Ooh, get them well into the red already. Get the paralysis going. Breaking your terror typing. Alright, and going straight for the Ultra Ball. Ayo! We got a slug maw. And some level ups. It said that in ancient times, when volcanoes were more active, there were many more slugma than uh, there are now. Interesting. I shall not give you a nickname and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, slugma. And thank you very much for the book. Yep. Oh, hello. There's like a whole squad of Houndour. Just bullying a pack of Houndour out here. Oh, actually they're starting to bully my Riolu a little bit. Did well. Oh, there's a Graveler. Hello, Graveler. Ooh, actually, swap in for Poliwhirl just in case. Just in case it's about to explode. There it is! <laughs> Not letting that happen. Not on my watch. Ooh, that one hurt a little. Okay. Now let's go for the Ultra Ball.
Hey, and we got a graveler. <laughs> and we got some more level ups. Right, moss covered rocks are graveler's favorite food. It consumes over a ton of them a day. That's a lot of moss covered rocks crunching loudly while it eats. Well, that's rude. <laughs> I shall go ahead and not nickname you. I shall send you the box. Welcome to the box, graveler. And thank you very much for the book. And we have, what is this, a seven star? Oh no, you're a six star. What are you, a s Not a Sinisty. Yep. Living that matcha life, I guess. Anyway. I'm uh, gonna do some quick heals real quick. Just in case we're looking at a battle in our near future. <laughs> Wanna be um, fully prepped and ready for that. Mimikyu! Sorry, maybe a little too excited there. But mimic you. Don't mean to be that guy, but I'm going for the quick ball. Oh, mimic you not having it. Mimic you's charm. My attack. I think none of my attacks actually have any effect on um, Mimikyu over here. So let's bring in Poliwhirl for this. Oh, there's a Litwick behind us too. The battler shared their pain. I actually gained health from that. That's kind of funny. Mimikyu coming in with the Shadow Claw. Actually kind of hurt though. Probably while well going for the Earth Power. All oh, right, we broke the skies first. All right, Mimikyu going for another Shadow Claw. Ooh, bring us well into the red. We're not doing all too much damage out here. Uh, Hail Mary Ultra Ball. Nope, still, still not having it. That actually helped me out again. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's go for another Ultra Ball. Hey and we got the Mimikyu. Nice, Ghost and Fairy. Mimikyu was only recently identified as a Pokemon. Previously, people thought it was just a ghost wearing a cloth. Interesting. Okay, I shall not give you a nickname. But I do want to add you to the party, because I think you'd be a fun one to have. Uh, I'm going to swap you out for... I feel like I've done this last time where I asked, where I swapped out the Pokemon where um that that fought you. But anyway. I don't know where I was going with that anyway. Uh thank you very much for the book and welcome to the party. Alright, what moves do you know? I know you know Shadow Claw. I know you know Oh, you know, playing play rough. Interesting. Okay. And arguably, if I play my cards right, I should be able to use um, that pain split um, as a nifty way of healing. If I play it right, though, I got that's that's the key right there. I gotta. 
I gotta play it right. I gotta play it just right, you know? Actually... Do I feel confident enough in my team to bench my... To bench craft? I might actually bench my starter this time. I appreciate all my starter has done. But I think... Do I want to bring back Poliwhirl? Hmm... Actually, nah. I'm gonna keep Craft just to... Just in case... Things don't go quite as... Quite as planned. Anyway... To the crystal pool, to the chilling waterhead. Was my next location the crystal pool? I actually don't remember what my next location was. That's not supposed to be the crystal pool. It's supposed to be to... Actually, the, the place I need to go is behind me. And I'm free! Free fall! Okay. <laughs> what are you? Oh, hello! You're a. Uh, you're a. Uh, hi! <laughs> I don't remember which OO -oh you are, but I do recall. Oh, now I know you're a steel type. <laughs> or a steel Terra type. Hakamo, there you are. Dang that level though. Dang that. <laughs> okay. Can I get a reversal off in time? Nope. Rio Lunu. All right, P to a real one. Alright, well we caught Mimikyu just in time. Go forth. Oh, I just realized you're steel type now. Right, anyway. I'm gonna go straight for the Shadow Claw. The good news is we resist Dragon Claw now. So. While we can't do super effective damage to the steel type Hakamo, we can do neutral damage to Shadow Claw. And we resist their Dragon Claws. And their counters. Alright. Wasting no time here. Going straight for the Ultra Ball. Ayo. And we got a Hakama. Oh. Torterra wants to learn synthesis. User restores its own HP. The amount of HP you regain varies with the weather. Interesting. I shall forget Mega Drain for that. One, two, and ta da! Torterra forgot Mega Drain and learned synthesis. All right, dragon and fighting. It fires itself up by striking its scales with force as it dances. Its roar is a battle cry. Ooh, I shall not nickname you. And I think I will add you to the party. I think I'll swap you for... As much as I want to try and keep raising Riolu up to be Lucario, I think we're instead going to opt for the Hakamo. I'm going to take the item back. Thank you very much for all your service, Riolu. 
I appreciate it. But now it's Hakamo's time to shine. Thank you very much for the book as well. Although now we're rocking to, uh... It's the very first, uh, Bronzong, or uh, Bronzor I've seen. Actually, what moves do you know? Uh, Iron Head, Dragon Claw, Noble Roar, and Counter. Okay. Uh, Iron Head, Dragon Claw, as the usual. Letting out a noble roar, the user intimidates the target and lowers the target's attack and special attack stats. Interesting. And a retaliatory attack that counters any physical move, inflicting double the damage taken. Interesting. It's good if I go second. I see what other moves it knows. It knows close combat. Sorry, I appreciate counter. It's a good well, counter move, but close combat it is. Anyway, uh, we can also do outrage. I also saw Dragon Dance. I uh, also got Dragon Tail. I think we'll do Dragon Dance instead of Noble Roar. There we go. Alright, let's get some heals going for you. A decent amount of heals. Alright, now Hakamo has instantly become my second strongest Pokemon with the exception of my starter. That's cool. That was fast. <laughs> anyway, next up is a Bronzor. Let's go right to the incinerate. Okay, half health, that's good. Bronze are using up an iron defense. Which means I can fire off another incinerate and theoretically I shouldn't kill the bronzer here. Oh, well. I got a critical. That, that explains a lot. Go forth and wreak havoc. Oh, there's another cave here. Oh, it's got Sneasels and Earthquake. Yep. Oh, let's go for the... Oh, Sneasel going first with the Slash. Ow. We can strike back with an Iron Head. There we go. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm just out here bullying some Sneasels. Also going straight for the Flamethrower. Ooh. 
these are lived. And it's getting faster. Hey, oh, hey, Dunsparce. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway. Bonzar! <laughs> Get back here. Alright, let's go for the flamethrower this time. Nah, good, good damage, good damage. Bronzer caught off guard. It's good for us, because now we can throw an Ultra Ball and hope for the best. Ayo, and we got a Bronzor. All right, they are found in ancient tombs. The patterns on their backs are said to be imbued with mysterious power. I shall not give you a nickname, and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Bronzor. And thank you very much for the book. Yeah. Hondauer. Oh, dear. I will run. Okay, I'm hanging in the right direction. Paradise Barrens. Oh, Vivian the Flower One. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I appreciate the dancing, uh, the dancing dino. That's pretty dope. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Right now we're currently in the midst of going through the main, uh, the main story of the DLC, uh, the Teal Mask. Uh, hello, trying to find somewhere to vibe to ignore the lip pain I feel from my very wrist, the uh, recent lip piercing. Huh? Oh, you're you're welcome to vibe here. I have no issues with. Those that wish to vibe. Yeah, if you like, you can cruise. Oh, thank you very much for the follow as well. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, I can witness us attempt to catch ourselves a nose pass. We lost a little bit of our special defense. And our disguise broke. Oh no. Not the neck. Oop. All right, so far so good. DLC was so fun to play through. I liked it. Can't wait till Indigo in Indigo Disc gets released. Yeah, the DLC has been good so far. Not gonna lie, it's been enjoyable. Seeing what kind of new Pokemon are out and about in this DLC, exploring this whole new region, a whole new world. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Yeah, curious to see how Indigo get Indigo Disc is going to be. Um, what was it with all the starter Pokemon all popping up as well? That's gonna be cool. Anyway, when in danger, it may protect itself by increasing its magnetism and drawing nearby iron objects to its body. Its fight or flight response is becoming Magneto. I respect it. Anyway, I'm not going to nickname you, and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Nose Pess. And thank you very much for the book. All I know is that VGC has a new broken mod to play with. I won't say it was broken, as it kind of spoils the story a bit. I'm a VGC player, and geez, scary broken teams. Uh, okay. I appreciate you avoiding spoilers. I appreciate that. And I'm sure uh, there will come a time for us to eventually... 
discover the brokenness that is to be yeah, discovered. There was a thought in there somewhere, I just don't remember what it was. Oh my goodness. Ah, my disguise neck. Anyway, well, we got Volibee well enough into the red. Let's go ahead and chuck that Ultra Ball. Ooh, and we got that critical. Nice. Got ourselves a Volibee. And a couple level ups. Its healthy appetite leads to visible growth spurts. It off. It often has to replace the bones it wears as its size increases. Very interesting problem to have. Anyway, <laughs> uh, with that, uh, the thing I will say is the broken part of it is the ability and the fact it's a speedy thing. Ooh, speeding things are always, always frightening stuff in the VGC if I remember correctly. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Keeping an eye out for any broken abilities. I like being vague. It's always fun. You know, I can't argue with that. You know, keep keep the keep the people guessing. You know, keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. I respect it. You know, give away just enough to like put people's intrigue. A lot of teams in VGC are T-Wind speed teams. A lot of Tornadoes, Kilowattro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know much about the scene, but I hear T-Wind is a... is a... You'd be hard-pressed to find something that doesn't have T-Wind somewhere on the team. Sometimes priority is everything in a, in a turn-based game. You know what's everything in the game of life? Staying hydrated. <laughs> anyway. Tornadoes gets a lot more use than anything else for Tailwind because of its prankster ability. Ooh, I can see that being a interesting combination there. Anyway. Uh... Do I want to bring Volibi? I might add... Mm. Nah, I'm just going to use the box. Welcome to the box, Volibi. And, in any case, thank you very much for the book. And anyway, oh, we lost an earthworm. There's a Shinx over here. Oh, we already, sorry, recorded. Sandshrew? Sandshrew's not yet. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. We can use Mimikyu for this. Let's go for... I'll try to run the play rough. Okay, play rough's good, play rough's good. Ooh, Sanshu bringing in the sandstorm. Oh. Hit right through my disguise, I see. Anyway, let's see if we can end this battle real quick with a Ultra Ball. Yes, we can. In Legends Arceus, I had over 1.5k worth of shiny Shinx. That's a that's quite a collection of uh, shiny Shinx you got there. <laughs> I can respect. I respect it. Um, yeah, uh, Sandshrew. Uh, no matter how high a place it falls from, this Pokemon can save itself by rolling into a ball and bouncing. Interesting. Sounds like a science experiment waiting ready to happen. And got tormented with more four more in Scarlet Violet. There's no escaping. There's no escaping the shiny Shinx. 
at this point, it's like the normal, it's like the normal form of Shinx is like, it's like it's reversed. It's like you're looking out for the normal shade of Shinx instead of the shiny Shinx. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and send Sanchu over to the box. Welcome to the box, Sanchu. Thank you very much for the book. I think I saw your evolved form out here as well. There you are. Okay, let's go straight for the play rough. Ooh, this one's adorable. Okay. At least we lowered his attack by a little bit, so that's kind of good. Ooh, very thankful for that disguise there. That one, that one probably would have ended not the greatest. Stopped catching them at this point. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't blame you. Anyway, we're getting attacked by Sandstorm. Let's see if we can end this here and now with a uh, Ultra Ball. Yes, we can. Took a little bit more attacks there, but we got the Sand Slash as well. Really filling up the Pokedex out here. Anyway, the spikes on his body are made up of its hardened hide. It rolls up and attacks foes with its spikes. So one curls in a ball for defensive purposes and avoiding damage from falling heights, and the other one curls into a ball to attack its foes. Interesting. I shall not give you a nickname and I'll send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Sand Slash. And thank you very much for the book. Okay, I need healing real quick. Thank you. Oh, there's a bombardier. Bombardier. Nah, I think we're good. Oh. Random person here, too, just hanging out in the middle of this field. Alright, uh, so say hi. If you love me, let me go. If you love me, you let me go. Anyway, <laughs> that's why I told my parents, and now I'm here on my own journey. And now you choose your newfound freedom in this journey to stand here in the middle of this barren field. Nanami, the festival girl. Alright. Oh, you do you. Anyway, I see you got yourself a Volibi. Go ahead and fight back with a Mimikyu. And kick things off with a real quick play rough. Ayo. Volibi. Getting ready for its own attack with a nasty plot. Go ahead and make sure that doesn't happen as we go for another play rough. Clear the Volibi real quick. And we defeated Nanami, and got a level up for Tertero. Oh, every journey has its ups and downs. You know, I can't argue with that. Anyway, GG's, thanks for the monies. And what I realized is that... Oh, I do have um, the amulet coin, it's just on Noivern. I'm gonna give it to Mimikyu. I kind of like having Mimikyu as the start. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Q. Actually, you know what? Since I'm still like 20 levels under every other Pokemon that I have here, and I have XP candy for quite a while, <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and use some of that. Uh, let's try five. How much does five give me? It's me the 49. Can also learn crunch. It's a pretty good coverage move. I'll go ahead and switch that out with uh, Let's do Leech Seed. We have Synthesis to heal, so I'm gonna try and lean on that. Uh, 
Let's try 10 now. Alright, now we're up to 60. And we can learn Giga Drain. Ah. I'll file synthesis for Giga Drain. I don't know if it's a great trade, but... It's something. Anyway, next move is Leaf Storm. Ooh. I'll swap out Razor Leaf. Uh, we'll use the four more. There we go. Now we've now we've pretty much evened out for the most part. Still under leveled, but it's not twenty levels under. <laughs> also wants to learn Headlong Rush. What does Headlong Rush do? I don't even know. Oh, hello. Uh, user smashes into the target in a full body tackle. Okay. This also lowers the user's defense and special defense stat. Oh, is this like a ground type close combat? Is that is that? Feels about like a. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep earthquake for now. Kind of pretty much. Okay. I mean the extra power is nice, but I think we got ourselves a good amount of. Uh, Leaf power, if anything. And I'm assuming I could relearn this later, I'm assuming. I could be wrong. But I feel like if I opt for it, oh. I feel like if I did opt for it, though, it was going to be... I'm, I'm, I'm running low on... I have a lot of attacks, attack power. I don't have a lot of attacks, you know what I mean? Anywho. <laughs> Sorry, just grabbing all kinds of items around here. Like a taunt. Okay, and we're at the sign. We'll put the sign all the way out here. Anyway. These are the Paradise Par uh, Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here a lot. Hey, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? What's with you and your sister and always wanting to battle? Anyway. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you know what? I can't blame you. I'm always down to battle too. Okay, let me heal up our Pokemon. Oh, I shouldn't have used those potions before we jumped into this battle. Okay. <laughs> this time, I'll win. What's up with the spoink in the background just staring at the wall? <laughs> anyway. Is, is that spoink okay? I don't, I don't think that spoink's okay. Just couldn't bear to watch this battle, I guess. All right, Kieran. What do you got? Oh, starting things out with a Yanma. I want to win. I want to win. So I got this. Oh, you got the spirit. I'll give you that. Alright, ooh, Yanma going first with the bug buzz. Well, you didn't damage me, but you did break Mimikyu's neck, so that's... You got me there. Anyway, go ahead and make sure you don't do much damage in the future. With a real quick charm. Now... Yanma going for the air cutter. Ow. Ooh, went for the critical. Just ignore all the stat changes, why don't you? Yeah, I'm going for another air cutter. Hanging in okay. Firing off a plane rough. 
We got him avoided it. Okay. That, I'm actually gonna bring back Mimikyu and bring in Ninetales. The OG fire variety. Ow. It's dang criticals. Anyway. Ooh, yeah, I'm going first with another air cutter. Ow. Or striking back with the flamethrower. <laughs> I should have thought things through. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Oh, Yama did some pretty nasty damage on its own. Ooh, speaking of nasty damage on its own, next up is gonna be a the Polyrath. I think I'ma go Noivern first. I'm hoping that Polyrath ain't packing any type of ice moves on it anytime soon. Otherwise, things may go pretty south pretty quickly. And we're going first with the Hurricane! Ooh, Polyrath going for the Hydro Pump. Noivern ain't having it! <laughs> Alright, going for another Hurricane. Polyrath ain't having it. Up. Oh. My, my, how the turntables. Oh, okay. <laughs> wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. Going for another hurricane. Clearing out the polyrath. So far, so good. Got some level ups. Next up is Diplin. Ooh, I think with that, I'm gonna go back with... Mimikyu's a little bit on the low side, but hopefully I'm able to strike first and strike tough with a play rough. I'm guessing you're dragon, I'm not sure. A super sweet aroma. My evasiveness fell. Oh, that can't end well. Alright, oh, we can go first with the play rough. We do get the super effective damage, but it's not much. You got this, Diplom. Get them all covered in syrup. It's not sus at all. Anyway, <laughs> syrup bomb. Ow. Alright. I see your Diplin and I raise you a Hakamo. Hit him hard with an outrage. There we go. A dang candy apple. Alright, next up is gonna be Furret. And with that, I can actually keep my uh, Hakamo. Why? Why does it have to be like this? Why? Supposing for I use Tidy Up. Excuse me? I feel like we are we're we're kind of on auto We're kind of on auto battle right now. I don't know what happened there, but you know what? I can't complain. <laughs> for deciding to clean up the battlefield a little bit, we went straight for the outrage. We also became confused, but luckily we don't have to worry too much about that. Because we're victorious and that spoink is still staring at the wall. <laughs> it's all Cause I'm too weak. Oh, props though. Doing some good damage. She took down my Mimikyu. RIPs. But anyway, GG's and thanks for the money. <laughs> I lost. Because I'm weak. That's why I... You go check out the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. I think alright. Fair enough. <laughs> If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. 
Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. If you should beat the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. Luckily, I have no son. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, in the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great 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 grandpa's great 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 grandpa. That's a lot of greats or something. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seems sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that, treated like some kind of outcast. Yeah. You raise good points, my dude. You raise good points. Think so too, huh, Shima? Wanna take that last photo? Well, at least we look, we're, we look like we're having a good time. I don't know. <laughs> look at us. Got that thumbs up and everything. Just like... Well, we're all done with our assignment now. I've got to get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm going to head home. Oh, now I feel kind of bad for taking his money. <laughs> Anywho, what is it that I need to do next? Oh, uh, Michael, uh, Vengeant Witch? I apologize if I butchered that, uh, but hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, right now we are currently going through the main storyline of the Teal Mask DLC. You can just call me Michael. Okay. Michael it is. But yeah. So right now we're just... Cruising through the main story. Seeing what's up. First run of the DLC, yes. This will be the continuation of our first run of the DLC. So, kindly requesting no spoilers, please. <laughs> I don't even know how much there is to spoil, but just in case there is some stuff to spoil. No. A... a Lack of spoilers would be appreciated. Thank you. Anyway. Jengmo. Did I say it right? Okay, yes. Uh, let's go for an Iron Head. Eh, not bad. Oh, Jengmo, strike it back with the Dragon Claw. Ow. Let's go for another Iron Head. Oh boy, okay. Well, we got the Jang Mo to flinch. I'm gonna try a Great Ball. So we're running a little low on Ultra Balls. Let's see if we can do it with the Great. No, not quite. I may come to regret that decision. 
All right, let's go. Let's go straight for the Ultra Ball this time, then. Ooh, and with the critical. All right, we golden. We got that Pokedex entry. After the Hakamo, which feels a little weird, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, they communicate with their allies using the sounds their scales make when struck. A group of these Pokemon causes quite a, quite a racket. Oh shoot, we were battling one just a minute ago. We have alerted the other Jangmo. Anyway. <laughs> I will not nickname you and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Jangmo. -oh. And thank you very much for the book. Hey, and we got our Ultra Ball back. Nice. Anywho. Do we need to head back to... Oh, back to the community center. Yeah, we'll fly. Did you catch Pokemon already spoilered or didn't or didn't you know about them? Uh They were referring to like the I don't know, do they count as legendaries? The the three quote unquote heroes um, or Ogre Pond. I'm aware of them. I have not caught them. But I am I'm aware of their existence. Beyond that, I, I'm I'm not sure what you're referring to. If that helps clarify at all <laughs> anything about spoiler territories. But yeah, I'm aware of the story at the very least, or how it's actually, you know, they give you the one story in the village and turns out it's the complete opposite direction or something like that. <laughs> something along those lines. Anyway, we're back. Oh, still talking about those candy fruits. Yeah, three heroes are three legendaries, but I mean, other spoiler Pokemon. The official website released them, but can't say anything if you do not see the trailers. Uh, yeah, off the top of my head, I'm not too familiar. Are you talking about like like newly released ones, like Diplin, like the Candy Apple Dragon? Cause I've witnessed firsthand. I do recall that one. I can't remember off the top of my head what the other um, introduced ones are. Anyway, our character's gonna go ahead and call it a night. Now it's the next day. Why are y'all still rocking the school uniform, man? What was that walk? <laughs> There's another one, but you'll see yourself. Alright. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you for the thank you for the foreshadowing. The the ominous vague foreshadowing of another there is another. <laughs> I appreciate that. Anyway, uh Carmen wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said, You better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Alright, thanks for the heads up. Sorry, have you have y'all just been hanging out in this in the community center this entire trip? I told you that I don't like the spoiler. I respect that. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we're back. Hello! Shima, you took your sweet time! Hey, I, I drove here as fast as I could. <laughs> as fast as Maridon wanted to. Anyway. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix Dear Ogapon's mask, but... I need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. I'm guessing this is not going to be an easy one material, is it? According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is. 
I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fix it up first. Yeah, I bet it would. I mean, yeah, it would be. <laughs> That's a nice thing to do. It's a very nice thing to do. But if you already battled Carmine, maybe you already know. Uh, maybe you know already, so if you want, I can tell you because it's one of Carmine's Pokemon. Uh, actually, yeah, if you want, you can go ahead and um, reveal it because... Yeah, there's, there's a possibility I've already seen it, I just already forgot which one it was. <laughs> oh, Poltergeist. Yes. <laughs> I 100% forgot about Poltergeist, but yes, I do recall. I think I've seen a Poltergeist, but I've never actually caught a Poltergeist. It's Poltergeist that you can catch. Yeah, yeah. and it has evolved form, yeah? Was it? Yeah. I don't remember what that name was, but I do. Yes, I remember now. Poltergeist is a thing. I have not caught myself a Poltergeist, but I do recall that that is a thing. Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogrepan to be happy, you know? I'm sure Ogrepan will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Oh, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. Excuse me? She's like trembling with anger like every other second. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I have stuff to do, okay? <laughs> What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. Sure. Teen angst. Yeah, that, 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 I guess that's an explanation. It happens. It would have been hard to get stuff done with Kiki clinging to you, Shima. Guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pole is at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm usually not too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. I seem to have been all over the place on this island, so I guess I guess this is fine. Let's say you and I go for a hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster. Alright, further adventures up the mountain we go. To the crystal pool! Hallway! Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, there's multiple ways that we can go about this. I think I'll journey the opposite way up and go through the bearings and work our way up from there. Keep forgetting that's the Pokedex and not the. And up. Oh! And ah, oh, bounced off a of nose pass. <laughs> Hello. Hello, flock of bomb bird. Um, bomb birds. <laughs> we got a full heal. Nice. We got another flock. Don't mind me, I'm just climbing up the mountain. Can keep keep at your business. This is just a random body of water. <laughs> if we keep heading in this direction, we should eventually get to I got Sinisha on my team, the same one as Carmine's Pokemon. Oh nice. I need to invest in some point. <laughs> now we're back at the Infernal Pass. Uh, excuse me. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this way works. Perfect. Not that, that, that. Hmm. It's my end terribly. I'm going for it. <laughs> it's a litwick. Thing is that here put uh, is that here Portuguese evolves into Sinistra and Sinistia evolves into Poltegeist. I like that swaps naming. It's kind of cool. All right, going for the Shadow Claw. Hope I don't insta up. Oh, well, that that answers that question. And now I'm on fire. <laughs> well, dang it. Hang on. I think I have a burn heal somewhere. Yeah, I have a few. Dang. I one hit killed the Litwick and I got burned in the process. It's the double whammy for today. <laughs> double whammy to start the day. Oh, anyway. Up the stairs I go. I guess up the stairs, the ride. I'm right on. Yeah, I'm right on goes. Slug moo. Am I really not? I guess not. Well, if I'm gonna get a Yanma, why not a Yanma that's level 69, I guess? <laughs> right. Oh, Yanma's fast, dang. Yeah, I'm not coming in with the air slash. Broke Nim Mimikyu's neck. Dang it. Oh, and we flinched too. I knew I was getting a speed boost. What is this madness? Uh, at the very least, we resist bug type moves. Yanma's getting faster as this battle progresses. We need to end this now with an Ultra Ball. Oh, and the critical. <laughs> Cause why not? All right, it can see in all directions without moving its big eyes. Stop staring at me with those big old eyes. Anyway, <laughs> and helping it spot both attackers and prey right away. Interesting. I shall not give you a nickname and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Yanma. And, <coughs> excuse me, thank you very much for the book. There's a lot of Yanma hanging around here. And, uh, curiosity, what is that? That is a, oh, hello. You're a Glamora of a particular other terror type. What kind of terror type are you? You are a grass type. Okay. That should be interesting. Alright. Call back Mimikyu. And we'll bring in... Grass is cool from the competitive. Alright. Well, it's not cool for the Ninetales, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, we'll bring in Noivern instead then. Also still weak to, um... Power jam, but hopefully we can up oh, nope. Glamora going first of the sludge wave. Oh, but we're alive. Okay, not bad, not bad. And we got the confusion. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm just telling you fire type was a bad idea as Glamora's rock type too. Yeah, I recall. Glamora still got its poison and rock type moveset. But I went for it anyway. 
And now I have Noivern, who has fallen to the sludge waves. All right, we'll bring in Hakamo then. Our fighting typing should come in a little handy, at least for the, um, what was it? Uh, rock type moves. That Pokemon is a monster. It's got all kinds of coverage out here. What the heck? Uh, I guess that was the first um, physical type attack I used. Anyway, going straight to the point with an Ultra Ball. Ooh, and the critic. Oh, yeah, it's the second time I caught it, so that makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> but we got a Glimora. And a level up. I shall not give you a nickname, and for now, I'll send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Glimora. And we're completing the Jungmo line today. First with the second, second with the first, and third with the third. Ha, come o What o was you again? I don't remember. Come o There you are. <laughs> come o MVP out here. Anyway. And there we go. Come on! Wants to learn the move Clanging Scales. Yeah, what kind of move is that? Oh, hello. Use the rubs of scales on his entire body and makes a huge noise to attack the opposing Pokemon. Use his defense stat is lowered after. Okay. Interesting. It's a little bit less power, but it doesn't lose special defense, just defense. Interesting. I'll forget. Outrage for it, I guess. Another particular instance where now Kamo has more attack power. Well, actually, I think I might have actually a little less attack power and also less attack, but. Well, less chance. Well, no chance of becoming confused, I guess. If that's a if that's a plus for anything. Oh. I don't know if we're gonna be seeing a battle in the near future, but just in case I'm gonna start um I'm gonna start uh healing up here. Yeah, knowing, knowing the group that we've been hanging out with so far, I wouldn't be surprised if we were suddenly challenged to a battle for, I don't know, reasons. <laughs> oh, one of the six wonders of Kitakani, the Crystal Pool. I appreciate these, the Area Zero track again. Anyway. <laughs> really fitting for the area, anyway. There you are, Shima. Come on, get a load of this view. Man, everyone else is changing out of their... What was it? Their festival gear. It's starting to feel kind of awkward in it. Anyway. <laughs> this is the Crystal Pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? Uh, it's certainly an area. It felt like we dropped a couple frames getting into here, but it, it, it is a good look. It is a good view. Anyway, the crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who've passed away. I think we've had a similar experience in a crystal area once. Although it was less of a, a mythic of, of a of a mystical meeting like ancestors in some kind of spirit way and more of a uh, we had to battle a robot from the future kind of thing. That was that was a whole ordeal. 
but you know we don't have to, we don't have to get into that. And now we we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pole so we can fix the mask properly. That's where you come in, Shima. Oh gosh, <laughs> go on then, jump in. Don't be scared. Or you want me to jump in? <laughs> jump in like into the pool. <laughs> Okay, I like to jump in, like, in, well, yeah, I can't swim. Oh, that's unfortunate. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did it. And mine won't. <laughs> You've got a real nifty Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. Why is the word fine always, like, cursed? You know, <laughs> when the, an earthquake? Oh, hey. All right, Melotic, definitely not something that I was expecting to find today. This one looks strong. You're awful lucky that I'm around. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Speaking of, let's go ahead and Reduce some of that attack power a little bit, why don't we? Our pack coming in with the aura wheel. Ooh, getting that good damage in. So we come on, let's finish this. Oh, Melotic's making a rain out here. Up, oh, more Pico getting angry. All right, we're going straight for the battle then. Uh, yeah, let's go for a charm. Oh, my Peckle stealing all the thunder, I see. Figuratively and quite literally. Anyway, <laughs> Jeez, that surprised me. Now I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? Guess. Yeah, look at that. We don't have to jump into the water. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, is that? We got a crystal cluster. A cluster of the crystals found within the crystal pool. These sparkle brilliantly and are apparently, necess apparently necessary to repair a certain mask. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought? The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. Oh, hey. You left the community center. <laughs> Miss Briar. <laughs> Hi there, Carmine. And Shima, too. I thought you were, uh, I thought you were paired with other students. Did you decide to switch things up? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. Uh, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering up around up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pulls water and energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Though I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. I see. Well, um, we've got somewhere to be, so... Let's head back, Shima. No. Oh. That felt a little... That felt a little extra awkward. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. I can just get the terrestrial phenomenon to re reliably occur in regions under the Baldea. That should bring me one step closer to a Terrapagos. There's like some future events waiting to happen. Anywho. So I'm just collecting a couple other items around here, don't mind me. Alright, 
All right, anyway. Uh, let us head on back to we're heading back to Carmine's because we have we got what we came here for so let's fly on back well, this taxi uses noctowls cool Hello! Hey Grandpa, we got the crystal cluster you needed. Shima, Carmine, I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask. What? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I would never. <laughs> I haven't said a word. Alright, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. Kieran seemed to be headed to Loyalty Plaza with the mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. Loyalty Plaza? Oh. I think that's this way, yeah. Yes, okay. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not the hills! Okay, anyway. <laughs> we made it through. Also, uh, Ding86784. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, and thank you very much for the follow as well. Greatly appreciated. So welcome, welcome. Right now we're going through our first playthrough of the story of uh, the Teal Mask in Pokemon Violet. Um, so yeah. I don't know where else to go from there. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we've been up to. And we also have an Applin over here. Oh, and it's a special Terra type of. It's a bug type! <laughs> sure. Alright, let's go for. Nah, let's go all in with the play rough. Hey, oh. And with that, we're gonna go straight for the Ultra Ball. Waste no time here. Ayo! And we got an Applin! I would add it to my team, but we already have enough Dragon types as it is. Applin lives inside an apple. When an Applin is separated from its apple, its body loses moisture and the Pokemon grows weak. Well, that's not ideal, but I'm not going to give you a nickname and I shall send you to the box. Welcome to the box, Applin. And... Thank you very much for the book. And, oh, we got Sunny Day. Another tart apple. Cool. Ah! It's a shadow. Uh, let's go for a shadow claw. Ooh, with the critical. Swaddle going for the flail, but it doesn't affect us. Good news for us. Now that we can go for another shadow claw. Okay, with that we cleared out. Let's And what was it that we're doing again? Oh yeah, that's right, okay, okay. We are 
Heading up. And up to the very first sign that we visited, if I recall correctly. Oh, he's at the, uh... The shrine to the three quote-unquote heroes of the village, or of the town. The area? Shima. Kieran. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm a modular and rigger, and I create all sorts of Twitch stuff, so I uh, can share some of my recent creation with you if you're interested. Oh, cool. I appreciate the offer. I think I'm good on my end, but I, th I thank you for the offer. Much appreciated. That's cool, though. Was it creating various models and rigs and stuff like that? That's always nice. That's always cool. <laughs> always debate on doing that myself, but I've never really quite found the time to get into that. And I think I gotta get some practice in before I ever, in like general, like art skills and stuff before I ever get into that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, I appreciate the offer. I'm. But yeah, I think I'm good, but, you know, <laughs> I, I respect, I respect the craft. Sorry, anyway, <laughs> uh, Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys, but the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You, you knew? I need to do the same thing to me. Oh, he angry, angry. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met the, the ogre. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything. But you were laughing at me behind my back all along. Excuse you, I never laugh. <laughs> I barely talk, anyway. That's not what happened at all. Liar. You're a liar. It's gotten into you, Kiki. You're acting real off today. Shima, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Are, are you sure? Are you sure this is what you want? I, I need this battle. Get to your position. Alright. I'm not gonna hold anything back, you hear me? Loud and clear. Hit me with everything I got, Karen. Oh shoot, he's rocking the Yon Mega. I know this isn't right, but I just I can't just hand over the mask to you. Fair enough. I respect your decision and kindly raise you a nine tails. Young Mega starting things out with the bug buzz. Ooh, actually putting some pretty nasty damage on that one. Okay. Young Mega striking back with another bug buzz. We get to strike back with a flamethrower. Woo, get them well in the red. With a critical. I can come back from this. I got this. I got this. You argue, can't. What can't you do? You like the hero in a story. Yeah, it's like I'm a protagonist in a video game or something. It's crazy. Anyway. Striking first with a quick attack. Oh, well. That worked. That didn't quite work out as as anticipated. But you know, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, what 
that. I'm gonna swap in for Mimikyu. Alright, yeah, Mega going for the Bug Buzz. Fortunately for us, we have a disguise on us. It does break our neck, but it doesn't hurt us. Weirdly enough. And with that, we're going for the Shadow Claw. Going for another critical on the Yon Mega. We really want to get that Yon Mega out of here. And we got a level up for Torterra, nice. Alright, next up is going to be Poliwrath. It's going to be Poliwrath, and it's going to be Torterra. That. We're gonna go all in with the leaf stump. I need to get this right. I'm gonna make sure to give the right commands. Oh, that sounds like it's not gonna end well for us. Oh, he's going for the hydro pump. Ooh, fortunately, we're hanging in pretty well here. We lost a little bit of our special attack there. It's okay, otherwise, we're still hanging in there. We're still hanging in there. Okay, we're hurting quite a bit, but we're still hanging in there. <laughs> we got the Giga Drain going. Got a little bit of health back. Oh, probably worth going for another Hydro Pump, but Torterra managed to dodge. Going for another Giga Drain. Get a little bit of our health back. Again. Polyrath going for another Hydro Pump, but Torterra's being extra dodgy today. Alright, Torterra back in the green, if only by a little bit. And we're able to clear out the rest of the Polyrath. Alright, next up is going to be Gligar. Ooh, how do I want to deal with Gligar? I don't really have a... I don't really have an answer to Gligar. that. I think I'll swap in for a Noivern this time then. Alright, with that. It's the Noivern versus the Gligar. And for us, we get to fire off a Dragon Pulse first and foremost. Doesn't do all too much, but we're hanging in okay. I got you good, huh? I can beat you, Shima. I will win! Ooh, you did drop my speed by a little bit. That's a little concerning. Looks like I'm going for the Rock Tomb. Ow. Let's lower my speed a little bit more. But we're bringing in the Tailwind. Should give us a little bit of an extra boost there. And with that, we're going for the Hurricane. Ooh, get them well in the red. Speaking of being well in the red. Alright, with that. Ooh, Gligar going first with the dual wing beat. Alright, with that, I'm coming back in with the BBQ. That was striking first with the Shadow Claw. Clearing out the Gligar, just like that. All right, our Tailwind is gone. The next mod is Cramorant. <laughs> Can't remember what what's with Cramorant. Oh, it's you. I'm going for the charm first, lowering your attack if only by a little bit, or a lot of bit, I guess. Ooh, bringing in the water attack, huh? All right then, I'll bring back Mimikyu and bring in Komo. -o. Oh shoot, it's got a fish! 
Alright, I'm going for the Dragon Dance. Get a little bit of boost to our attack power and our speed. Okay, I'm going for the Air Slash. Ow. Alright, now we're going for Clangin' Scales. Ah, the fish! Oh, shoot! Come on, no! Alright then, I'm bringing back Mimikyu. We're going for our play rough. And we're able to finish off the cram Cramorant. And final mon is going to be Diplin. We lost a little bit of our evasiveness there. But let's go all in with Terrastalization. Leaning heavily into our fairy type in. Going all in with the play rough. Okay, got dip into about half health. Oof, we're now covered in sticky candy syrup. We lose a little bit of our speed there. A little concerning, but otherwise, we're still able to fire a play rough. And the Diplin is out of here. <laughs> and we have defeated Kieran. Ah. Oh, why? Why can't I be as good as you? Skillish. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> In any event, GG's and thanks for the monies. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Uh, Oh, felt that. Ow. Kiki, are you alright? Here, I promised. Uh, we got the TL mask back. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for. I'm going home. Oh, man. He's really going through it right now. I'm sorry about all that. He's normally not like this at all. You think most people act up like that around around Kieran's age? I I would assume it's a little bit more to do with um you know the fact that we like lied about this whole thing to his face, but you know, sure it could be an age thing too. I I, I don't think so. <laughs> right. Sure never let teenage angst get to my head like that. I don't know what to do with him. It hey, can you hear something? Is it coming from the Loyal Three Monument? Hmm. Giant beams of light. Usually never a good sign. What's going on? Oh my goodness, they're alive! Oh, this took a turn. Hello. Huh? Huh? What in the world? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you- what do you want? 
Whisper, whisper, murmur, 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 murmur. <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. Seriously, what is going on? Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Up and they're out and about. Th there they go. What's that all about? Are they the loyal three? Hey, you're right. There were three of them, and uh, they all looked. Uh, they looked all sinister. That's gotta be them. Starry said they were laid to rest on the statues, right? We brought them back to life. Uh, wait, they ran off to our Kitakami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after him. Come on, Shima. Well. So I guess the loyal, somehow loyal three have returned. Palpatine all over again. <laughs> and they're making their way to Kirikami Hall, so I'm guessing that's something that we gotta deal with. Excuse me. I think that's something that we can deal with uh, next time around. AKA tomorrow, slash later today. Because <laughs> it is starting to get a little bit on the late side, so we'll go ahead and save this for next time around. Which I'm guessing, with their arrival, we must be nearing the end of the of the Teal Mask storyline. So keep an eye out on how this all concludes uh, tomorrow, slash later today. But for now, uh, that'll pretty much do it for this stream. Thank you very much to all of you who tuned in to this one. Uh, thank you very much to Unikitty2912, Vivian the Flower One, and Ding86784. Thank you very much for the follows. Greatly appreciated. And thank you as well to Ding86784, uh, Michael, uh, Vivian the Flower, Unikitty, and Val. Thank you very much for chatting it up throughout the stream. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you do want to check out any future streams, you can of course follow or even subscribe to us here on Twitch. Um, we also do stream over on YouTube as well under the same name, Voyaging Trainers. So if you can subscribe to us there as well. Um, speaking of YouTube, if you want to catch up on any of the streams that are exclusive to here on Twitch, uh, the VODs for those are saved over on our sister YouTube channel, Voyage Archives. And lastly, if you do want to check out our weekly stream schedules as well as check out our daily happenings, you can always follow us on our socials, Twitter and Instagram at Voyaging Trainer. Uh, but yeah, once again, that pretty much does it for this stream. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.